Hi all, welcome to these World Tour SBCs. We've got two new ones cropped up in the form of Pacific Rim and the European Tour 2. So, in a set, this first set is quite easy, the other set is a little bit annoying, but as a whole, quite fun and hopefully worthwhile in all honesty. Quite a lot of packs to expect, about 10 all in total. So, we'll hopefully, get some success. So, if you can smash the like button, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jesus Legend. All the links are down below for playlists and channel and social media links, as always. So, let's jump into these and hopefully have some success for rewards and routes. So Australia, Chile, Japan and Korea Republic for the Pacific Rim. Australia, nice and easy, um, mainly because of the overall, which kind of helps. Um, the way you want to really build this is try and look at other leagues for the Australian player just to kind of ease you out a little bit. I went a League Two, uh, a League One squad, sorry, um, went all the bronzes and for that it's relatively easy and the good thing is if you wanted to build a route you don't have to worry about loyalty and in all honesty you don't even need to worry about loyalty for this kind of route so we're nice and easy and we've got ourselves our first pack in the form of a silver player's pack hopefully some success for that so it's kind of worthwhile for your efforts Chile is not too bad either um, 71 overall and um, 5 Chilean players try to not use too many of the um, same club but try to look at other leagues mainly because it's free I've went with one player from Sweden, which helps out. Um, Kalmar is the team, if you're curious, and then just went um, a Liga 1 2 3, and from there it's pretty much straightforward, um, which is quite lucky. And we get ourselves a gold pack. Not the best reward though for the actual challenge as a whole, which is a bit of a disappointment. Japan is an absolute bummer and an annoyance to do. The best way I try to do this is rely on discard. Um, sorry, the Japanese players were um, ideally trying to look at other leagues first. So the silvers, I was hoping I'd have um, players from other leagues, which helps because I've got three from different leagues, and then just use throwaway bronzes, and then ensure that the left and striker are kind of same nation but different league, but also kind of linking up to the CDM, and then the right mid is a Bundesliga two player that is not really needed but massively ahead in the overall. If you want to do this route yourself, there is a good bit of flexibility, um, but don't really try and build this yourself if you, because you're not going to get the same, obviously, chemistry. But still, silver back for your trouble, it's not too bad. So three down, and Korea is the last route, which, in all honesty, is a pretty simple one to build. The best way about it is just use the Korean players that you can afford to give up, so, I've given up part Juho because he's not going to be needed for Borussia Dortmund and then I threw a bronze CDM and it's not needed and same for the other players and then just went with a Swiss League and you get an all players back for your troubles and before I forget if you wanted to build this route you've got a few KM players so keep that in mind if you wanted to build that route but nice and easy and an all players pack so that's the Pacific Rim, as uh, Pacific Rim aspect covered um, for the Pacific Rim tour you get yourself Premium Electrum Players Pack, not the best reward, but it still helps. And then European Tour 2, this one is an absolute pain in the backside. England, a lot, a lot of requirements to cover for this, but we smashed with fees. I'm willing to give up Manalas, um, Steel, Wilshire, I can rebuy these guys in due course. Luke Steel, I'm even having to give up, but that's only because he's a different league. That's kind of why we've got him in, and obviously he's English. And there's not really many other English goalies that you can really throw in that kind of helps us out but if you like to build this route quite a lot of chem um, I have a, on loyalty so don't worry too much about it but the bronze right back just kind of was a bit of a saving grace for us and for a 45k pack it's not too bad for your troubles then France is another killer route um, 81 overall and 90 chem but that's kind of the biggest killers of it but eight, French players at Grail, I can afford to give up Nasri, um, Lukaku and Benteke, I'm happy to give up as well. The 82 Kagawa, I've got his 83, Evra can give up, um, De Mayo, Umtiti, um, so I kind of don't mind so much. Um, Dembele is a 77, I've got his 80, so I'm not too fussed, and for a 35k pack it might pay out anyway. So generally, they're not too bad packs. So right away you've got 80k from two rewards for packs, will hopefully pay out quite well. Germany is another killer because it's 81 overall. Now the big positive is Schweinsteiger I've got um, for 700 coins and I can afford to give him up. Farman, um, same for him because you don't need to use him up for Schalke. Um, Benega is another one. And 
for me as a whole, I'm quite happy with this. If you want to build this route, quite a lot of players packed, so keep that in mind as well. And um, best way I kind of felt this was worth doing was trying to use Bundesliga for as many players, then use the advanced players for different leagues. So I've got a German from the MLS, EPL, and then the Eredivisie. Then I've got two from the Calcio A, and then the striker from La Liga, and we're kind of smashed with these premium goal players back. 81 overall, 90 km. So three down, one to go, Russia. Um, this is just if you've got your Russian players already, this is when you want them packed. If you've got them bought um, tonight, you're going to be paying an arm and a leg compared to like it's like last week all over again with the marquee matchups. Um, Aspas is only in because of his overall, and I can afford to give him up. Um, but for this, a lot of the players are packed by the right back. I'm just trying to work out where who wasn't packed there and the goalkeeper. But um, yeah, this best way about it. Cherishev was my saviour and then just built that La Liga squad. It depends who you have. Um, you could do the, the right mid being of a Russian league and then doing whatever. But it depends what you want to do. This was just the way I did it. It's not the cheapest, but it's a fun way to do it. And we've got ourselves another pack for our trouble. So we've got about 120, 120k worth of packs and you got a 50k pack for your trouble. So 170k. So we've got a lot of, we've got 10 packs with quite a good bit of value all told. So hopefully we can get something worthwhile for our troubles. So 10 packs, hopefully something worthwhile, we're going to do the all players pack first, hopefully get something worthwhile, and for a change it's a gold rare, so I'm happy there, and it's Abel Hernandez, good player, decent stats, already got him, which is a bit of a bummer, biggest problem I think as well is going to be who we ease off the transfer list, but lots of useful players there like Russian League, um, Ligu 1 and Championship, so kind of not too bad, and obviously the, we have SPFL and German. Silver pack and gold pack we'll do next for the next two packs. It's not a rare silver that we would hope, but Beckerman still decent. And the rare was a club item of Batiste. But Beckerman will put the transfer list, we'll sort out his other one later. And the consumables, the club items will quick sell. Gold pack next. Definitely helps for League SP. Oh, that's only really off the loader fireworks when usual for some strange reason there. It's probably just where I skipped. And in Squad Fitness, so definitely has a decent value there. And Rizakov will sell out later on. But at the moment, packs aren't doing too great, which it was kind of half expected. Rare. One rare. Uh, the one rare turned out to be a decent player in the form of Adrian Silver, who's had a nice upgrade. Uh, Jonas Hector as well, we've got him back in the club, and Ari as well, who helps out. And then a few players that we can sort out later on. Transfer list is getting a little bit tighter now. So we've got six packs to play with, we'll go through the silver players pack next. I'm not in Aguidello, I think that's how you, you, you would roughly pronounce his name. And then lots of useful league SBCs, a spot here like Mexico, Belgium. Um, Germany, um, Russia and SPFL so not too bad and in spare place for Saudi and SPFL too. Times are getting tough. Premium Electrum pushback. And we get ourselves upgraded Zaha. Ah, my other one is untradeable and it's the 79 one so I can't really complain there too much. And then other players to put in the transfer list. It's getting a bit bulky now, it's going to be fun in games. So, four packs remain. Um, premium goal push pack next. Biggish flare, I don't know if that's. I think everyone gets fooled by that when it's that kind of 84. I didn't think it would be top track. It looked a bit bigger than an 84. But, um, we've got. Sporting and pretty much other useful leagues, so I can't really complain about that. And the rest of the stuff we'll put on the transfer list and sort out later on. Uh, Mega Pack doesn't pay out sadly, but it gives us a useful player that we haven't had for a little while. Also, we kind of need because we used them up not so long ago, um, and I think it's my United dropped off. And other league SPCs covered like Turkey and. 
so forth. But that's not too bad. And then spares for other um, just rares. So quick sell the stuff that we don't need. 45k and then we'll do the 50k. These don't pay out. Primes don't pay out at all. But we get Kona Planka. I don't really need them because of Shalk is complete without them. And I don't need them. And then CDB Illaramendi, who I just recently used like last night, I think, if I remember right. So that's not too bad. Got him back. And then a whole pile of players. That's a hell of a lot. So we'll sort of transfer list again. And 50k pack, hopefully something useful. That is a pretty big flare, but it's not walkout territory. Who is it then? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Barzagli feels a bit of a letdown. Someone Juventus play you don't want in a sense from a centre back perspective. I'm not going to complain, it's a good pack. All in all, can't complain with what we've got. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. As always, remember to smash the like, sub to the channel for new, follow me on Twitter, G's Legend, let me know in the comments down below what you got in your packs. Take easy all, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later.